Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Today we are going to create a basic dice rolling system. In this episode we will make dice rolling in pure data style, so just numbers, no actual physical dice rolling. We will be using this system in the D&D tutorial. This is more advanced approach to dice rolling. You can simply roll random number in the range or roll numbers in the cycle if you want to simulate even more rudimental dice rolling. This system will allow you to implement rare rolling of selected dices and have more bigger control over dice rolls, for example for dice pools or stuff like this. If you want me to make the physical dice rolling, then let me know in the comments below. Ok, so I created a new script called dice roll. Inside we want to remove start and update and remove mono behavior inheritance, because this will be a class and not a component. This class will be responsible for rolling dices. Dice roll class will be holding an entire roll of all dices you want to roll. Then create a new class called dice. This class will be responsible for individual dices. Inside create public integer value called sides and roll value. Create a constructor and pass the amount of sides of the dice as a parameter. And then after we create the dice, we want to roll it. Inside the roll method, calculate the roll value by getting the random value in the range between 1 because minimum number on the die is 0 and the amount of sides plus 1. The reason why we need to add 1 here is because half number value is calculated. In Unity random range of integer type exclude the maximum value when it generates a random value for integers. Ok, good. Now in the dice roll we want to create a list of all dices which will be rolled in this dice roll. and initialize the dice list in the constructor. Now we want to populate this list with all the dice we will be rolling. Create a new method called addDice. Inside this method add a new instance of the dice to the list of all dice. Good. Now we want to roll all the dices in the list of dices. Create a new method called roll. Inside cycle through all the dices in the list and roll them by calling their roll. And we need to return total value of roll. Create a new method called total value. And inside cycle through entire list and get their roll value. Good. 
We have a shell of the system, but now we want to implement it into our hypothetical game. Open Unity. Let's create UI for our dice roller. Let's place a square image and then add text to it using TextMesh Pro. Import the essential, don't import examples. Put 5 dices on the scene. Create button to roll the dices. And create another new component called roll test. Inside this uh, script, we want to reference all the text objects on the screen, so we will be able to show the results of our roles on those text objects. Assign them in the Unity. Now we will want to roll our dices inside the dice roll. Every time when you want to roll dices in your game, you will have to create this dice roll class to store all the dices you will be rolling. So initialize uh, dice roll class. And in the roll method call dice roll to be rolled. But right now, if we try to roll the dice roll, we will get nothing. Because before you uh, roll your dices, you need to add them to into the dice roll. So let's add five six-sided dice to the dice roll. Ok, our dice roll has dices in it to roll. We are rolling it. But we need to show the results on the scene. Create a new met update text, which will be responsible for updating the text on the scene. Cycle through all the text objects on the screen. And then check if the index is less than dice roll dice count. If it is, update the text on the screen based on the rolled value. Otherwise, it will mean that this dice roll has less dices than text objects on the screen and we have no place to feed them.
Actually, let's add one more text object called total value. And in update text, we will post total value from role into this text object. Create object on the scene. Reference it. So let's test this code. Add the role function to the uh, onClick event on the button and let's launch the game. Cool. You might look at this and ask why should I even bother with this. You can simply use random range and that's all. You need this in mainly for the functionality of the dice pool. Imagine if you want to introduce an ability to reroll an individual dice in this roll. Actually, let's make it. Create reroll button above the each rolled dice. In the roll test, let's introduce a method called reroll with dice number as a parameter. which will create and call a new method in the dice roll called roll dice. Pass number of the dice uh, into this new method. Inside this method roll the specified dice. Now inside roll test call update text to update state on the screen. Call reroll through those reroll buttons. Pass the number of the dice you want to reroll. Let's test this. Good. As you can see, I can reroll an individual dices. And if you want to change the amount of sides your dice have, you only need to change this value to set the dice size to something different. Actually, you can even mix the dices in the dice pool or have weird ridiculous sizes impossible in real life. Or you can introduce logic for dice pool system. It's all up to you to use and utilize. We will be using this system in D&D uh, tutorial later on. Anyway, please subscribe, leave your comment and my Patreon available in the description. See you around.